So here you go guys on YouTube, here is a video lesson that I've done with Pavel today, who is a 11 handicapper, who needs to work on distance and accuracy, as I'm sure most of people watching would love to work on also. Um, I want to show you in this lesson one of the most destructive practice routines I've possibly ever seen, and what we've done to improve uh, Pavel's golf lesson today. It's his first ever golf lesson myself. Um, and I've explained to him the factors that need changing. Uh, we've not fixed everything today because that is unrealistic to do so, but we've made a really good start on a couple of uh, key fundamentals to get him hitting the ball a lot better. So this is Pavel on the left-hand side at the start today, hitting some, uh, I think it was 7-9 it was hitting on the left. This was the destructive practice routine that he was doing almost before every shot, and he he says he does this on every shot when he goes out and plays, even two or three times. So he's ready to set up in the practice routine. And then he moves the club forward before moving it back. The reason why it's so destructive is it actually gets Pavel's wrist set taking place way too early. Way too early. So as he goes back, he's, you know, he's unhinging the wrist almost. And then to get the club back, he's got to really here, he's got to really flick the wrist up. And we'll see coming back in the swing, this really aggressive wrist set. From down the line view, he does get the club quite on the inside as well. But I just want to show this from the front view mainly. So he gets it inside, which makes it look even more extreme. But the wrist set is very, very sharp. So, we have to learn not, you have to learn to stop doing that. Because that wasn't easy to stop doing that. It took a lot of thought process. It took a lot of, you know, really... Um, concentration to stop this movement going to the for forward but once we got it we started to really see that that old habit disappear what we then talked about was taking the club more on the outside and redu reducing the amount of wrist set and you can see here the difference between the two images there that was the practice swing on the right on the left sorry and this was now the the actual shot that took place after that practice stroke the hands in the same position you can see the difference of the wrist set it's severe here on the right hand side, that wrist, the club hasn't even got over the green chair there, where the, this one, the uh, club's almost pointing towards the plaque on, on the wall. So quite aggressive wrist set early in, in the swing. On the right hand image as well, this club is nowhere near as far behind. I'm going to show you from the front view because you can, I'm going to show you this wrist set more than anything. And we see here an angle that's so much more um, consistent and not anywhere near as severe. On the way down on the left hand side then Pavel would end up losing wrist angle as the club would come down more on the outside but get into a really decent impact position the shaft was leaning forward but because of the weak grip causing the face to go to the right Pavel would have to swing left uh, resulting in a bit more of a fadey ball flight but also quite inconsistent strikes and right on cue uh, Pavel in the background hit quite an inconsistent strike <laughs> he had been hitting great ones just before that now on the new swing, going back with less wrist hinge, we're getting to the top of the swing, not needing quite as much aggressive change at the top with the wrist set. Still getting into some great positions coming into impact. Yes, the grip is still weak, therefore keeping the face open. And yes, the swing is still going to the left, causing those fades. But we wanted to take baby steps first. It was important that we made some nice small changes first to get that, check, to get that um, habit out of the way. The next tweak we're going to start to make is to the grip and the path. Uh, the reason why I did that today is Pavel mentioned in, in lessons prior to what he had today with myself, other with other coaches, that he actually found that he, he almost saw too big of a dip off in performance. What I wanted to do today was give him some simple ideas that would keep the consistency of the performance uh, and see small improvements. We're in January now, so let's make you know some small tweaks to get him striking the ball better, even though in the last few shots he's just absolutely awful. Um, Pavel, hit a better one than that. Don't finish on that one. Hit a better one than that. So, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have and learned a little bit from it, please do hit that like button. Uh, sometimes it's it's interesting to see faults that other players do so you can figure out yourself what potentially your issues are. Um, Pavel, great session today. I look forward to catching you next time. And definitely we can get this single this swing to single figures and get you hitting the ball ridiculously a lot further. Uh, we just need to finish on a better one before you go today. Good work, and I'll catch up with you next time.